during the, the time that I, my tenure at Topeka High, I was there when the kids rioted at Highland Park. And my, and my children, by the way, went through Highland Park schools. Okay. So they were, they were in school at the time the kids in Highland Park burned the curtains in the uh, auditorium. Mm -hmm. And uh, when that happened, then the, the black community withheld a lot of their students their mm -hmm. children from schools on all levels. Mm -hmm. I kept my kids home. Okay. And uh, the churches opened up so that the parents had some place they could take the children while they were at work mm -hmm. and they'd be cared for. And I, I, I took, we took my two children and uh, cases of food and so forth and the babysitter. Right to one of the churches to help take care of the kids. Uh, when they turned the dogs on the kids that- They turned dogs on the kids? Oh, uh, I, I'm surprised that uh, Beryl wasn't there, that, cause that's, that's at the high school. Okay, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. They, okay. They, uh, there was some kind of incident at the high school, and I'm not, I'm not sure what really happened because my room was up on the third floor. And um, they called the police and the police came with dogs and they had, they had the dogs on chains while the kids were coming out the, the doors. Is this at the beginning of the walkout or when they were just, how, how did it, it happen that the kids were outside? And it was not, and I'm fuzzy. Okay, that's fine. But I think that it was not at the time of the walkout. Mm -hmm. This was a separate incident. Mm -hmm. Something that happened maybe during recess or something. Some, some incident that happened at the school. Right. Uh, but separate from the walkout. Because when the... Uh, when the walkout occurred, the teachers still had to go to work. I still had to go to work. And I know I, I was talking to some of my students, and, and uh, one of the white students told me that he had skipped school and gone fishing, and his dad mm -hmm. had chewed him out because he wasn't supposed to be walking out, you know. And he said, well, his attitude was the black kids were all having a day out of school, you know, a vacation. <laughs> And he thought he'd, he'd take one too, you know. So uh, not quite the same. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, the other incident that happened at the school that I do know about um, in the library, uh, the s students had a uh, they had a club. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what the name of it was. Okay. But anyhow, they wanted to fly the uh, red, green, and black flag in the library, mm -hmm. make a display. And some of the uh, teachers and all didn't want them to do it. And the, the kids would, after I had been there a year or two, and, and of course I was active in the community, they, I knew it was their parents and all, they'd come to me and tell me when things were going on, even kids I didn't have in, in class. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, would, I would question them about the authenticity and if they really knew. And if they said yes, then I would inquire about it. Right. And we'd usually get straightened out. Mm -hmm. And uh, so they came to me about the flag. And uh, they had a, a paper they had written and they wanted to get it to the principal. So I told them, give it to me, I'd take it in. And I took the paper down to the office. At that time, we, we did not have um, memo machines and so forth in the teacher's lounge uh, to get copies. And, and the front counter in the office was about, I guess, four to five feet from the, from the uh, workstation where the secretaries and so forth sat. And 
between the time I handed the paper across the counter to one of the secretaries to run copies. She began to read it and comment on it out loud, negatively. Right. So I walked around the counter and snatched my paper out of her hand mm -hmm. and told her it was not her business and took it back and got it copied somewhere else and wrote a two-page single-space letter mm -hmm. to the principal about what had happened right. and requested that it go in her personnel file. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got the flag flown in the in the library, right. uh, and the uh, the kids. I forgot. I I did know about the walkout in the sense that when the kids walked out, and I don't think I've ever told this before, the uh, principal negotiated with me at home on the telephone over the conditions under which they'd come back. Wow. And so, let's, let's bring her back just a little bit. So, what was, so you were recognized as a liaison for the students. What was the mood, I understand it was about 10 days that they had walked out? Mm -hmm. What was the mood amongst the administration um, during they, that time? They, they, it, it was a new experience. Mm -hmm. They um, knew that the happenings were not good. Right. And they, there was not the trust developed for them to calm it down. Mm -hmm. But they knew that the, it was their responsibility to take care of it. Mm -hmm. And um, so the way they decided to take care of it was the negotiation mm -hmm. through me. And, and what what actually needed to be negotiated? They had some. They had some. Con the kids had some conditions. Mm -hmm. I, I I didn't write them down, but they had some conditions about the way they were going to be treated. Right. Uh, you know, uh, the flag stuff and that kind of thing. Some of the. Uh, the conditions that that uh, they were being subjected to, mm -hmm. they wanted them stopped. If, do do you feel that the the administration negotiated in good faith? Were oh, they did. Better, they they, better? they did. Uh, yeah.